white sandy beaches, picture-perfect landscapes and a multitude of wildlife. Welcome to Bleecker Island. Bleecker Island lies close to the southeast coast of East Falkland and is reached by just a short half an hour flight from the country's capital. The island has adopted many different names over the centuries, from Long Island to Breaker, before finally settling on Bleecker in 1857, although it is anything but bleak. Bleecker hosts a large imperial cormorant colony, three types of breeding penguins, an assembly of wildfowl and sea lions haul out on the rocks and offshore Tussock Islands. Visitors here would be hard pushed to not stumble upon the phenomenal fauna and beauty of Bleecker. Bleecker Island is steeped in history and over the years has been owned and managed by an array of companies and farmers before being privately owned by Mike and Phil Rendell. Well, it's quite a long history. Bleecker Island uh, has been inhabited since the late 1890s. Uh, when the first uh, soul came to live here, Mr. Fell, who had previously been at um, Goose Green, he uh, he found his uh, his future life in the, in Bleecker Island, which uh, I think went very well for him. And uh, there's been a progression of uh, owners or uh, mainly managers for the Fulton Island Company because it used to be owned by the Fulton Island Company up until quite recently when Fulton Land Holdings. Um, took over all the FIC properties, camp properties. Eventually we were able to buy it from Falkland Land Holdings. Um, third time lucky, we tried twice unsuccessfully and then in 1999 we were able to buy it. and its seven surrounding Tussock Islands are internationally recognised as an important bird area and the northern part of the island was designated as a National Nature Reserve in 1970. The northern end of Sandy Bay teems with Gentoo penguins who make the short walk down from the top of Penguin Hill to the northwest of the bay where there is a breeding colony of about 3,300 pairs. Just a short walk south from Sandy Bay to Long Gulch will reward visitors with astonishing views of many Falkland breeding birds, from Matchlanic penguins to crested and striated caracaras. Seven subcolonies of southern rockhopper penguins also breed alongside the coastal fringes of the island. The rocky cliff faces of the gulch are a superb nesting spot for these inquisitive creatures as well as for the small colony of rock cormorants. Bleecker Island is particularly memorable for its colossal colony of imperial cormorants that breed just a mere five minutes from the settlement. This black and white carpet is home to over 8,000 breeding pairs, making it one of the largest imperial cormorant colonies in the Falklands. The colony itself is closely attended by a group of skewers who keep a watchful eye on the birds' nests, eagerly awaiting their prey. The island's inland is predominantly made up of open heathland, with several watering holes dotted around for wildfowl. The largest of these is Big Pond. Big Pond is home to a wide selection of rare birds, but the breed that brings about the most attraction are the black-necked swans. Identified by their powder white plumage, distinct black neck and striking red bill. They have been long-term residents on Bleecker and over the years have continued to breed successfully.
After a full day of exploring the perimeters of Bleecker, there's no better place to rest your head than in the island's full board accommodation. Uh, Cobb's Cottage was built uh, back in the year 2000, a year after we bought the island, because we always thought that we should get into tourism. So we, we built that house uh, with three bedrooms, sharing one bathroom, and that kept us going very well for quite a long period of time. But as, as time went on and our business was increasing, we realised that we needed to do something more than that if we were going to attract tour groups in particular. So three years ago we completed the build of Cassard House, which has got four ensuite, well one double and three twin rooms, uh, and quite a large public area. And we now get a lot more tour groups because we can take them in comfort. And we don't have any plans to do any more um, because we feel that 12 people, which is what we can take at the moment, is, is sufficient. We want people to have an experience when they come here where they aren't going to be uh, bumping into people all the time they're out and about. As well as being a popular tourist destination, Bleecker Island is also a fully fledged farm and has been for over a century. However, sheep stocking rates have considerably reduced from the practice of 100 years ago, from 3,500 head then to a 1,000 head now. Bleecker is also home to a nucleus of 55 Hereford breeding cows that were imported from Chile in 2004, providing the island with a regular supply of organic steaks. And a particularly interesting site for visitors is to see the local wildlife and domestic animals happily coexisting. Well, they get on very well together. Uh, surprisingly, they, they seem to, they know that the other one's always been there and they just sort of disregard them really. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite interesting the way it goes. Uh, you know, a cow comes walking past a a penguin and they just sort of look at each other, say good morning and carry on, you know, more or less. Bleak Island is the perfect place for visitors and tourists alike to kick back, relax and enjoy the beautiful sights that this charming island has to offer. Mm -hmm.